What's happening everybody? This is Life in a Mustang and today I'm bringing you another sweet episode and what we're gonna do is install some line lock on this here Mustang. So stay tuned! Let's get this hood popped. Let's see what we gotta do. Let's see how difficult this really is gonna be. Okay, from what I understand, we're gonna go right here at the front right passenger side, right up underneath the intake. There, this is a distribution block, and we are gonna be going to the MC1 right here, to the line lock, and then back to the brake line, and then run our wiring. That's the basis of it. All right, let's get started with unpacking this line lock roll control. Now what comes in the package is your basic solenoid from Hearst, of course. Uh, it also has a few different lights, wiring, your fuse, your button, what you're typically going to need. I wouldn't use that stuff, your bolts. Right here I am showing you how to line it up. This is on the bottom of your anti-lock brake. Right here I'm marking it to show you where the marks are. These are the marks I'm showing you right around. This is the area that I did it on the bottom. Right here I am showing you a way that you can not drill through the wiring that is in there behind that bracket right here. It's like a, a, a countersink stop I guess you would say. I'm using a slurpee straw right there as you can see I'm showing it putting it on there as you can see only a little bit can go through the metal itself and now I'm gonna hop under the car with my safety glasses I'm gonna drill it you can see it right there working so I can't sink that drill bit too far down in there's the pilot holes that I drilled now I'm gonna go in for a bigger drill bit about a 3 8 drill bit and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the countersink guard with the slurpee straw right there as you can see I'm cutting it getting it to length only about five millimeters are gonna stick out and I'll get that all cut up get it on the drill and I'm gonna go ahead and hop back under the car and drill those holes the holes are drilled now I'm checking to see if my bolts fit and of course they don't I went ahead and I went to the hardware store and I got some one-fourth regular bolts and nuts it's kind of hard to get the nuts in there but it is possible that way it is securely mounted there it is right there right here I am taking the MC1 line off from the anti-lock brake distribution block it's gonna leak some fluid I use some saran wrap to kind of stop the fluid right here I am checking to see if the brake line is going to thread in here is me bending it with a tubing bender that you can see on another one of my videos this is a 90 degree angle I went as shallow as I could closest to the fitting I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the car and check it now I'm doing my second bend I kinda did like a little bend and then I went back for an even bigger bend here it is you can see that 90 degree angle and then you can see right there another 90 degree angle kinda shoots off past the solenoid where I really don't want it so I'm going to come in, get under the car right here. You can see it kind of shoots off way far. I'm going to make a couple more bends until I get it right there. See, straight into the solenoid. There's three or four bends into the solenoid. And that's it. That's the first line. The second line is way easier to bend. But there's a problem with that, so stay tuned. I tried to bring you some line lock today. It didn't work out. I want to say uh, something, and I'll go product review all up on this install right here because as you can see I was installing the Hearst line lock kit I have the installation kit which you can see right here here's the installation kit right there's the rest of it uh, the package is on the floor right there all right so I bought this kit from American Muscle and I didn't see, I went through and I read forms and I did read a form that said on your anti-lock brake control modules, what I'm gonna call it, distribution block, you did have to cut a brake line. It, it, I mean, there is this much space to cut that brake line and flare it. Total pain in the beep. Anyways, so, but American Muscle everywhere, Hearst says, oh, it's a plug and play, buy the installation kit, hook the fittings up, you're done. Maybe on the older cars, but on the 9904 Mustangs, that is not the case. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I did go ahead and get everything else bent and ran other than the wiring. 
for part two. I'm gonna make this a two part video, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get this installed. I'm gonna figure it out next week, next Sunday. The line lock will be working, so stay tuned for that. But this is the problem, this is my review. The installation kit does not work. It, you know, it's, you know what, you would have been almost better just going to AutoZone and getting the tube and the, and the fittings yourself. As long as you got a double flaring tool, link in the description for that video where I show you how to use it, talk about it just a little bit, it's a quick flick. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what I'm talking about. All right, right here, I'm taking this I saran wrapped it. That's your MC1, it goes right here. You can see this new fitting. So you take this off, this runs into the solenoid. You take a barrel connector and you're supposed to be able to connect to this and run it down to the solenoid. This right here runs back from the solenoid back into your MC1 port on your anti-lock brakes distribution block is what I'm gonna call it. As you can see, it continuously drips. I just wrap some saran wrap around it like that. I'll fix it later. Anyways, I mounted the solenoid down there as you've seen in the video. The brake lines, the new brake lines running down from there. And then my other brake line. And then my other brake line, I went ahead and bent up. It's gonna go in. I'll show you how that's gonna go. So that's gonna go from the solenoid down there to this fitting like that. So it's gonna go like that. To the solenoid down there you can see me wiggling it and then that brake line from there to the mc1 port now more than likely i'm gonna go through all this trouble and i'm gonna have to redo it anyways that's okay i am gonna be installing a turbo kit but that's gonna be by 2019 the car will be over 600 horsepower i promise uh you know it is expensive to bring a two valve to 600 horsepower or more, all the parts that I've ordered, the pistons, the rods, the cranks, the bolts, everything is rated at a thousand or more horsepower. So I should be able to pump 20, I'm hoping to get 20 pounds into the car, maybe 30 once I break her in a little bit. So more likely this line lock is gonna have to be redone, but that's okay because at least I went through the trouble and I found out that the Hurst insulation kit for the 9904 Mustang does not work. Now, this is the one that you need a barrel connect to and run back down to the solenoid down there. This is the fittings that get, comes with the kit. None of these barrels will go into that. And then it has, here's the spare line. So barrel connector into the original line and then into that and then out to the solenoid. It does not work. You are gonna have to cut that line. You're gonna have to cut it. And then you're gonna have to flare it all in that tiny space. So that's what I'm dealing with. That's what's gonna be a problem. Now my car is out of commission. On top of that, you're also gonna have to bleed all four corners and make sure all the fittings are right. You have to use this Teflon heat tape it's like teflon thread sealant 400 degrees you're gonna have to use that in order to seal it all up property so barrel connect that line it's not really a pain here is the fittings or the electrical it doesn't really come with enough wire to do what i want to do or the switch i want to use so that'll be in a later video like i said this is going to be a two-part video I want to thank you all for watching. This is Life in a Mustang where I put out some sort of vlog, some sort of how-to. I also put up another video on Sundays called This Tool is Cool. I featured brake flaring kit this week, so check that video out, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.